All right, hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the city section of Dark Dimension 6. Uh, before we get started, please like and subscribe and join the content. Trying to grow that channel to, to feed my Marvel Strike Force the gaming habit or addiction, depending on how you want to look at it. So let's get going. Uh, the city section was by far the easiest section so far. Now, obviously, uh, I only have two more sections to go, both uh, less than three nodes each of legend, non-horseman legendary, and then obviously legendary with apocalypse and or apocalypse. We'll see how those go, but I don't anticipate them being any easier than city. City was, as you can tell from the nodes, um, two attacks for mission nine, two attacks for mission ten, and, and four in total for eleven uh, for mission eleven node three. Um, and that's the team I use and the strength. Um, obviously, uh, all s well except for Firestar, who was a five and five in terms of five yellow, five red. The rest of them were all seven and seven. And blue ISO four. Um, there's I, I I've been I have had discussions with other people and you know. It, who've watched the videos and said like, so City's the easiest one, and it, it, it seems like it's such a joke. Well, I, I don't know how to answer that because it's kind of like the chicken and the egg, right? Like, was it easy because of my team composition or was the section itself easy regardless, right? I don't know, because obviously I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, we'll see what the time to tax. Uh, obviously, I plan on doing something a little bit different, which I'll share later. But um, you know, just this this, however, should give you a frame of reference, right? It, oh yeah, I saw this dude. He ran through the city section with his team, and it took him three days total, and you know, eight attacks, whatever, right? Um, so, so at least you have a frame of reference. Now, the, the reason that's important is you can do kind of your own kind of internal analysis, right? If you know of someone else that has recorded their kind of journey through or jaunt through the city section and they did it in 10 days, right? And, but they did it with without cloak and dagger and they did it with some of the cheaper tunes you can get, whatever it is, whether it's with Weave, uh, what's his face, uh, <laughs> uh, 2099 um, or someone else. At least you have a frame of reference. You say, well, if he used all of this and, and that person used all of this, it took this guy three days, it took them 10 days, then it gives you the ability to do your own cost benefit analysis. Because if you say, well, if I wait for Cloak and Dagger, Dagger took the longest. I had to wait it. You know, obviously she's a bit expensive with four gear slots that need Mystic. But if you can sit there and say, well, if I take in a quicker team or a quicker. Uh, to be able to enter to G18 and enter city section and, and knock it out um, You know if it only takes me 10 days to finish it without the same composition that I have You know, it's a it's you're only seven days slower than me, right? I guess that's the point but it, you saved a month or two in trying to accumulate the gear, right? So the cost-benefit analysis works in your favor to just get in there and just knock it out so I guess that's what I'm getting at is you can use this as a frame of reference. In terms of MVPs, all of them played a significant role. I really liked Firestar's ability to do not only damage, but also flip a lot of the, the buffs they had. Cloak and Dagger doing their thing. Squirrel Girl came in key with some of the heals to, to make the nose go, uh, you know, your runs go a little bit longer. And Shang-Chi was absolutely incredible uh, with all the damage that he did across the board. And just, and because his his ultimate was his such a low cooldown that it was just going off all the time, right? So um, the city section by far, this team composition really easy. And again, I can't attest to whether or not it's because of the team it was really easy or the section itself is just simply easy. <laughs> so, but we'll I'll try something else out. So what am I going to try on the next timed run whenever I get there? Um, obviously, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to try the newest uh, crew, Ghost Rider and uh, Miss Marvel Hardlight, uh, Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes, and then I'll, you know, mix in and try different combinations. But uh, the reason I want to do this is um, there, there's kind of a thing where 
you notice that because of the cost to bring characters up to the point of entering a dark dimension, whether it's the next dark dimension, dark dimension seven and going forward, you tend to use the same characters because the cost to bring them up to the next level is less, right? As opposed to bringing in a brand new character. Like for example, I bring in Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes and Miss Marvel Hardlight. I do it because I make videos for first looks and, and all that stuff. But you gotta understand that's very expensive. You know, one character, 20 mil gold. That's 20 mil I have to have to burn on Ghost Rider and 20 mil I have to burn on Miss Marvel is just to have ready to be able to do that. And that's not including all the origin gear, all the catalysts, and then obviously the, the most recent bottleneck is the G18s. Why do I say all that? Because Cloak and Dagger are both mystic. Although they're phenomenal together, you, there's a part of me that wants to eventually ditch them <laughs> because they're because you can't just bring in one character, right? In order to fully maximize their potential, you have to bring in both. So they're always joined at the hip and that requires seven mystic gear of whatever it's gonna be, right? G19 for Dark Dimension 7. So you're, you're, I'm always looking for kind of an off ramp to where I don't have to build them in, in tandem. Uh, and because mystic is always so expensive because they just seem to have all the best characters, that's why I'm looking for kind of a way out. Obviously, Robbie, uh, Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes is also another one. Well, we have no idea how he's gonna do it, but he's a mystic, right? But at least it's only one. So if Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes is, is, is phenomenal in Dark Dimension, and you know, Miss Marvel is phenomenal in Dark Dimension, at least that's, you know, that's, that's one, uh, you know, it's only one mystic I need for the section versus absolutely needing two, right? So, so you get the idea. Just the cost of entry into the next Dark Dimension um, is just way too high for these newer characters. So, uh, and it'll, it'll probably be what, level 100? So that's why, that, that's what I'm thinking is that, look, Cloak and Dagger is amazing, but they just cost so much in Mystic Gear that eventually I'm trying to find an exit ramp for them and, and leave them behind. But we'll see, but that, that's my current plan. We'll see what drops I get from the completion of the first run and hopefully it's favorable to where I can upload the tunes I need to make, uh, try some of this stuff out and make some videos for uh, the uh, community out there. Um, yeah, and so what's next? Uh, so obviously the non-horseman legendary section, which is only two nodes, and then obviously the legendary and or apocalypse section, which is also two nodes. That's what's next. Um, I'm basically in a holding pattern. I, I couldn't go anyway. The only person I have finished is uh, Phoenix. Um, so, and that's the gear I need. Obviously, uh, Black Cat's event doesn't even start till August 16th, and it runs through. I, I don't, I don't have the date. I, I don't know if they even mentioned it. I would assume it's either a week or 10 days or something like that. So at minimum, you know, we're looking at two weeks before, you know, I, I can even. And then you know, you, there's like a day or two before the rewards get funneled out. So we're looking at at minimum two weeks before we can uh, enter the non-horseman legendary section because obviously I'm taking a black cat. Um, and, but I would assume within the next two plus weeks that uh, I'll be able to acquire what's remaining and necessary for the other legendary characters. So that's what is next. Um, so keep an eye out for those uh, videos. And then obviously uh, just to wrap it all up, I'm currently 48 at the moment. Uh, well above my goal of uh, doing better than 421. So absence, me getting absolutely stuck in uh, the next two sections somewhere, uh, I think I'll definitely uh, be able to obliterate the goal that I set for myself. So, all right, that's it for this one. I hope uh, this was informative in some fashion. City section, again, a big joke with the caveat of, I don't know if it's a joke because of the characters they took in, right? That's the reason it was a joke, so I don't know. But uh, hopefully this helps and uh, I'll see you on the next one, thanks.